if tan x is equal to 3 divided by 4 and x is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, calculate cos x divided by 2 sin x. So the question tells us that tan x is equal to 3 divided by 4 and x is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. That means that x is an acute angle. So tan x will be positive, cos x will be positive, and sin x will also be positive. The question wants us to use this information to find cos x divided by 2 sin x. We have tan x to be 3 divided by 4. If tan x is equal to 3 divided by 4, it means that if we have a right angle triangle like the one we have here, we have this right angle triangle A, B, C. If I choose this interior angle as x, tan x is given to us as 3 divided by 4. Tan is opposite divided by adjacent. So tan x will be equal to the opposite, which is 3, divided by the adjacent, which is 4. So the opposite to x is 3, and the adjacent to x is 4. This is a right angle triangle, so we can use the Pythagoras theorem to find the side AC. If we apply the Pythagoras theorem to this right angle triangle, we will have the square of AC is equal to the square of AB plus the square of BC. We have AB and BC, so we can find AC. So AC squared will be equal to 4 squared plus 3 squared. AC squared will be equal to 4 squared plus 3 squared will give us 25. So AC squared will be equal to 25. If we take square root of both sides, we have AC is equal to square root of 25, which is 5. So it means that on a right angle triangle, AC is equal to 5. We can now find both cos x and sin x. Cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So cos x is equal to the adjacent side, which is 4, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 5. Sin is opposite divided by hypotenuse. So sin x is equal to the opposite side to x, which is 3, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 5. We now have cos x and sin x. So we can find the value of cos x divided by 2 times sin x. Cos x divided by 2 times sin x will be equal to cos x, which is 4 divided by 5, divided by 2 times sin x, which is 3 divided by 5. This will give us 4 divided by 5, divided by 6 divided by 5. And this will give us 2 divided by 3. So it means that cos x divided by 2 sin x will give us 2 divided by 3.